Welcome back to another Shadow of War video guys. Today we're going to be answering one of the biggest questions that I've been asked by a bunch of people on the channel and that is how do I get the best captain or war chief in the game? Let's go ahead and jump in straight into it. So first of all we want one of two things done. Well we want one thing done and that is immediately right here. The best war chief or captain in the game you want to get at level 30 or at least make sure you're past level 30. The reason being here is because it has been shown that captains and war chiefs who are level 30 and over actually get more traits for their classes than ones that are under level 30 so we want to make sure that if you're at end game it doesn't matter about this information because you're already the max level in the game number two we can go one of two ways about this you're either going to find the guy that you like you're going to brand him and you're just going to take him on multiple nemesis missions over and over and over again to build him up that way you're not going to use training orders training orders is, was actually proven by the developers a long time ago in a dev stream that the best way to get the captains and more chiefs in the game is actually to sit here and use the nemesis missions to your advantage and actually doing training orders believe it or not which sounds kind of crazy here doing training orders actually gives them less good stats than if you do that yes it will give them the same thing as like they could get an olog thing to a nemesis mission however it was proven through breaking down the statistics of the game that when you give them like for instance you know the abilities through training orders they actually do less damage than if you build them through the nemesis missions now the reason why this was brought upon from what i understand is because monolith didn't like that the game was pay to win when it was initially released for people who don't know wb games had essentially a thing where it had to be microtransactions in the game when it was first released it kind of nerfed when you bought the items versus if you actually grinded out the game. So the second thing we need to be here, and this is the best way to get the best captain and war chief in the game, is we're going to sit here. We're going to get a guy to kill us at least three to four times until he becomes legendary. After he becomes legendary, we want him to kill us one more time. At that point, we then break him and take him as ours. Keep in mind when you break them, you're probably going to have to level them up again. This is the best way to get the best captains and war chiefs in the game. You want to play into the nemesis system's hands. You want to do as many nemesis missions as possible. Now, there's a big difference here because I see a lot of people get their you know oh hey I really love this guy I'm gonna put him in a fortress and never train him don't do that because then he can't get better you see what I'm saying it's kind of like real life applied to a game in a sense where like if you want to get better at something you got to train and like practice the same thing goes with your captains and war chiefs here if you want your guys to be better you have to take them on multiple nemesis missions you don't have to have them constantly killing captains you could just wait until they go on one of the random missions by themselves aka like a caragor hunt or hunting for a growl just make sure to accompany them in that mission don't let them do it by themselves there's multiple reasons for this but the two big reasons why well three big reasons why number one they're more guaranteed to gain a trait a new trait number two they're more guaranteed to be loyal to you number three that means they have less chance of betraying you and actually more chance of showing up when you're about to die so that's overall how to get the best captains and war chiefs in the game is just simply use them like get them and then use them with the nemesis mission system so that way later on if you want to you can put that guy into the fortress have him defend your fortress overlord you know he's max level now and if you need him to come out and destroy something somebody you could use it another negative that I've seen a lot of people do is do not set your guy as the bodyguard here's the reason why whenever you have your guys set as a bodyguard and you actually want to call it out to help you versus another person that is very great but you should only use it on people that you kind of technically need as a backup not one of your main guys because of the reason being that it's been shown that using those guys as your bodyguard does not actually gain them a lot of the traits and stuff like that for their class versus if you use nemesis missions to level them up that's it I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys next time